Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our let's play. It is a day later uh, in game as well as IRL and um, I did put on my new flurry shirt today because I feel like maybe we'll kind of start auto filling in today's at least recording session. So, um, you know, manifesting and all that. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and see what today has to offer. Hello everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 9.56 a.m. this happy Thursday, July 7th, 2022. It's actually uh, the 6th of July in real time, but the time is the time is correct. Um, all right, now for today's news. Some stunning news just in. We're moving forward with construction of the Callan Museum. Neither Blathers nor I imagined we'd be getting ready to build a museum on his very first day on the island. We're very grateful for everyone's cooperation. Anywho, we've started construction for the museum at the very spot where Blathers had his tent. And then I think there's also the shop, right? So sorry to inconvenience you all like this today. I forgot the voice for Blathers. <laughs> Wow, it's been a day. <laughs> this is a shame to suspend your scientific endeavors. However, I hope having our splendid new museum completed by tomorrow will make up for this little setback. Sure. That was a little message Blathers asked me to pass on to all of you. Also, my staff Timmy and Tommy opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your island life. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your items. Uh, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obta obtained or purchased. Any mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's cranny. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterward. We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by resident services if you're interested. And here goes our probably big task for today. Oh dear, never fails. Of course, this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Uh, one moment, please. I'll just take a sip of my coffee. Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, what, the getaway package? Why, yes, yes, of course. And that's all for today's Island Wide broadcast. So sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... Uh, toe beans? A full overview of the toe beans. I'm pretty sure I said this exact uh, phrase before. <laughs> I think I said that exact thing before. Okay, so it seems as though today we are probably going to be building the three different plots. I think those were the interested parties uh, in the phone call. And that means we have to also build a bridge, I believe. Um, here's a tiny little house. We've got some mail from Daisy May. I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips just the way my grandma used to. All right. Um, so yeah, bridge, uh, there's a fossil right here, which, you know, for right now, we can't really, we can't really give them to Blathers today, but we are still going to collect them if we find them, because for now we do want to donate everything. God, this mess. How many miles do I have? Can I buy my pocket extension? Okay, not quite yet. So I'm going to have to do some stuff that, um, will give me some miles because, yeah, um, maybe we can store a couple of things. Oh, let's talk to Cherry as she is walking by. Well, you're up early. What, what? Good morning. Let's talk. This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with meals for as many as I can. Ooh, well, let me, you know, let me try the food. Oh my god, I see I've made a little <laughs> fossil drop-off station, you know. Uh, don't mind if I do. And then the shop is built, I think, on the other side. And here is Coach. We'll also go talk to him. Oh, and there's something on the tree there. So do you know about reactions? Let's go. I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own, like I'm doing now. Okay, that was kind of weird. But that's reactions for you. They're all about getting emotions across. Want to try reactions for yourself? Just hit ZR. Do enough and bam. There's your stretch stretches for the day. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone to show you their favorite reactions too, so be sure to ask around, Stubble. <gasps> yes! Okay, I can finally express some basic reactions. Um, which is awesome. I don't think we get too much. Yeah, we get like the, the greeting, which actually I always put here. 
the wave always goes here and then we'll just register this over here. We get a little bit of clapping and then we get a little bit of surprise as well. Thank you, coach, for helping me, uh, you know, express the emotions. Reaction ruler. You learned a reaction. Let's celebrate this momentous occasion with Nook Miles. Reactions help you express yourself, so it's a good idea to learn them. And we get 300. I believe the pocket extension is like 5,000, so we're going to get have to get up to that. And then don't mind if I just... Get this little bug. I think this is like a skin or something, so it doesn't actually like fly away. But it can it can fall down if I'm not mistaken. I found a cicada shell. I'm glad the little guy came out of it. Very good. Uh, and I see some more miles. What about... Oh my god, I don't know if I've got these bugs. Okay, I guess we're just gonna try. Yeah, this was the very noisy one. I'm pretty sure we have this already. Yeah. A robust cicada. I will kind of like keep them all and just maybe like store them or put them up somewhere. <gasps> There's a bee! There's a honey bee! Yes! I caught a honey bee. Sweet success. Yay! Okay, um, starting pretty well. Noisy bugs, sure. Uh, we're just gonna be placing them here. I can't donate them today, but I would like to donate everything that I get. I'm pretty sure I probably have that cicada I have already, but that's okay. Um, all right, Nook Miles, what did I get? Cicada memories, cicada shells in the summer. They're not really all that useful, but collecting them does help create summer memories that will last a lifetime. Okay, a thousand! Yes, that means we can get the pocket extension. And I'm, I think with that, we're actually gonna go inside resident services Get that extension because I need more pocket space. <laughs> I can never have enough pocket space. I always want more. Even when you have all the 40 slots, I want more. And of course, Nook. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No trouble at all. I just need to draw up the proper contract. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Malene, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Callan getaway package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. That's great. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful, except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have... Promised them fully furnished homes, three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. He calls himself a raccoon, though. Interesting. Okay. And there's the idea. But, Maline, here you are in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I'll have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. I guess. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're gonna need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. Oh uh, my gosh. Okay, nothing in the box. First and foremost, we need bigger pockets. So that's gonna be the thing for us to do today. Um, and I, you know, I do think we're gonna go and just do some dailies every once in a while, you know, collect some shells, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, and then we can't really purchase anything else. <laughs> That's okay, because we got like a Nook Miles ticket last time, which took um, 2,000 miles from us. Eh. But we've got bigger pockets, it's all I want for now, and, you know, I, you know, like I said, always bigger pockets. Okay, totally makes sense. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I can carry a bit more stuff now. Okay, and then let's talk to Nook and and ask him, what should I do? Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction. So that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base, get your DIY skills ready, and then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. Okay, I'm 
I think we need like log stakes for it, but I don't, I'm not sure. Is it regular wood for it? I'm not, I, we'll see. I've just sent you a recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, but we can talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck, Moline. <sighs> we really are his like, B. <laughs> uh, yeah, log stakes and some clay um, and stone. Well, I've got the clay and stone with me. I just need log stakes and for that I need regular wood, which I do not have. Do I have an ax with me? I do. So we are gonna go, go and, um, oh wait, actually, we might have some regular wood in my storage. I'm pretty sure I didn't remove everything. We can do some stretching too. <sighs> so many tasks, so much to do. Okay, first we'll go check our, and we've got three rows of, of, of pocket space now. First we'll check our storage because I think regular wood we actually had some left over. And then, you know, we can get more. That's not an issue. Oh, we've got 14. Plus I'll take the sticks with me because we might, may, might have to make a new um, axe because even like for the different plots, we're going to need a whole bunch of uh, extra wood. Uh, so there's that. Okay, is it four per log stakes? Three. Okay, so and then four log sticks, right? Three, six, nine, twelve. So we can actually just go ahead and do that. Now I just need to think about where I had my oh, that's our money tree! Yay! We need to find the new uh, the new spot. Although I don't, I have ten thousand. Never mind. Um, here's our workbench. So let's get to work and work on that little bridge. So first of all, log stakes times four. Number one, here's where the bulk crafting would be great. <laughs> it's been so long though, we're not gonna get it. Um, we'll see if maybe like in a future Animal Crossing game they're gonna change stuff like that and give us like bulk crafting and all those like quality of life things that we've been asking for, but we're not gonna get it this time. Although at the same time, you know what? Sometimes I don't, I don't mind having to grind a bit and then if I don't want to grind, I do use Treasure Islands because this game by now is more about the decorating than the gameplay, right? Um, I think this Let's Play offers like a great opportunity for us to, you know, do a little bit of a mixture of both of those things. But yeah. All right, we get some more miles. Uh, actually, we get two different types. So first of all, DIY furniture. Here's a win-win situation. Craft your own furniture, win. Enjoy your handiwork, win. And, or, oh, win-win-win situation. I don't think I read that out correctly. Uh, enjoy your handiwork. Win. Earn Nook Miles for the furniture you've crafted. Win. What could be better than that? Sure. 730. I don't even think I can purchase anything with that. And we get some for just completing DIY projects. Um, at some point later on, if we like really need Nook Miles, we might actually go and focus on some of those tasks. For now, I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna um, just gonna see whatever we get. Okay, where do we put up the bridge? It's like weird because there's no there's no real like big part across the river. It's all like tiny parts. Um, I guess the one behind resin services is the biggest, um, which is like here. But I don't know if we can. I guess this could be a bridge. Um, we're probably gonna tear this down again. You know. Uh, so I think we're just gonna put it here. Yeah, bridge goes here. That sounds like a plan. Okay, I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. And with that, we're gonna go back to Nook, tell him all about what we've done. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna give us the giant three plots for the first villagers. And then also like a ladder recipe, I think at some point. Ah, Maline, hello. So did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kid? I set it up. Splendid. Excellent work. Thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge uh, bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want or just ask me what should I do. Uh, we will go ahead and do that because I do want to continue grinding. We need all the materials and it's better to know if we actually know what we need. So here we go. Um, You want to start on the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. Thank you. 
With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick up plots for three homes, and of course these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you will need. Yay! And there we go. I think that's all from me. Thanks for all your help. Okay, let's see what we got, and then just kind of go in like... There's the ladder, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to chop some wood, y'all. There's not many things we can already craft. Should I favorite all this stuff or favorite it as we... No, we're gonna favorite it as we go. We don't have that many recipes just yet. Okay, so we're gonna be shaking some trees and then chopping some wood and getting some, um, probably some stone and stuff as well. I feel like we're probably not, we're, we don't have enough of that either. So first things first, we're gonna go shake some trees. I'm just gonna leave the tree branches out for now. We can clean those up later. I just don't wanna waste any like wasps and stuff. And of course, if we get furniture pieces, that is very useful. Yeah, if you have the option to get Nook Mile tickets um, at the start, ooh, there we go, a freezer, okay. If you have the option to get Nook Mile tickets um, at the very start, I do recommend like hunting for villagers if you want to. And then on each of those islands, shake all the trees with like a net equipped because you can get a wasp and a piece of furniture on every island and then the wasps, uh, wasps can be sold to flick for like quite a bunch of money. And then the furniture is great because you need to reach three stars at some point and putting those furniture pieces up that you literally get for free is actually gonna give like, you know, get you like a pretty, pretty long way. Plus of course, if you can get some, that's a new one, isn't it? <sighs> that's a new one, it's very big. Oh my God, I was very far away. Is it? Yes, I caught a giant cicada. I guess it is pretty big. Yeah. Um, if you can get flowers as well, that all also helps a ton with the three stars. I only did that with like one uh, one island now, so I don't really have that many things, but it's, it's gonna be okay. I think if we craft a couple of things and um, I'm pretty sure the villagers, oh wait, I already have this one. I'm pretty sure the villagers also give you some furniture pieces here and there. I don't know if I had this one, but if I can get it, honestly, I'm not going to be mad because most of the time these bugs get you quite a bit of, of money, actually. So, yeah, a saw stack. Okay, I do, I do have that. Oh, and we've got the housing kits, which we can put down somewhere. And I got miles. For what? What did I do? Oh, okay. Nook miles plus. Catch bugs. Okay, sure. Cool, 1,330. I don't know what the next thing was that I wanted to purchase. I'd like to have the the tools, the tool recipes, cause like we don't even have, we don't have a slingshot yet. And I'm, you know, we should, we should have a slingshot. <laughs> um, what else? A slingshot? Well, I don't really think there's anything else. Net, rod, shovel. Those are the ones that you need at the start. And then the slingshot is kind of good because you can get furniture as well, again, for free pretty much. And you can get, um, you can also get some recipes, which speaking of, I should check my beach for a message bottle. Cause I, yes. Ooh, that was, started sweating right there for a second. Uh, cause I haven't seen a message bottle. Like yesterday there was none. Right? There was nothing. And then not even on the Nook Mile Islands. Rude. Okay. Um, and I think that concludes all the trees on this side. <gasps> Did you see that? 20,000 bells even. That's pretty nice. Okay, before we, do before we go and, and, and get all the wood stuff, I think we're just gonna hop over here. Oh my God, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get rid of that many trees. We're just going to be placing these completely like in a different location to where we put the bridge. Um, we're not going to be able to fit them on... Oh, I think here could be a good spot. We're not going to be able to fit... Jesus. Fit them on the beach because they're too giant. Oh my god, no one needs that much room. Like even when like on a finished island with decorations around, none of my villagers get this much spot, get, get this much room. My phone is ringing. Hmm. 
wonder who that is. Hello, that you, Moline? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? Uh, it's going great, actually. Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. I'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. We want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set out the plots for all three homes and place the required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Of course. Because the thing is... <gasps> there's our money spot. Okay. We're going to have to save this one. Because um, if we place like a house on it and it disappears, that would kind of be tragic. Especially towards the start when uh, you need that money. So I'm just going to go make that little sapling and then take it with us. Just, you know... Plus, maybe we should shake these trees that are gonna be demolished. Okay, so no, not no wasps. Can I not wait? Did I not have a? What's going on outside? I do have an axe. Okay, I could shake these trees and just get a little bit of wood from it before they're completely, <laughs> completely um you know disappearing before they've completely disappeared. Uh. One, two, three, there we go. And then maybe we should also do the same with the peach trees because we don't want to, we don't want to lose those. We're going to probably need them to snack on and like move stuff later on or destroy rocks or stuff like that. So we're going to see. Okay. Now let's see. Oh my gosh, my pockets are already full. Holy heck. I told you I need, I need more. Oh my god, this is too close still. Okay, I'm gonna place them as close together as I can. Actually, also, I'm gonna have to, I wanna, I wanna take a picture of this. This is the spot, okay. Okay, I picked a spot for plot number two. I'm just gonna take some screenshots here. <laughs> My phone is ringing. Hmm. Eh, Maline. That's great. It's me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing up on the cliffs of the island, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. It's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Anywho, keep up the good work, hmm? Eh. Okay, whatever. Um, can I place one more plot here, or is that already not going to fit? Okay, nothing to be shook here. Okay, okay, okay. But we will get our wood from the trees before we, you know, like I said, make them disappear. Um, it should... Well, actually, I don't know if it's enough space. We're going to have to, I think, move a little bit to the right here. Oh, I already kind of didn't make them... Oh my god, this is interesting. <laughs> it's okay, these don't need to be pretty. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to move in to the right and then to the front as well. Oh, this is it. Yeah, this is the spot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, picked spot for plot number three. Awesome. And now with that, let's go hop back over and uh, chop all those trees that we just... Um, Proof shook <laughs> and get all the the wood. Mm. Never mind. Get all the wood that we need. Do I have sticks and stones? Yes. So running all the way to our workbench, it is. We're gonna have to take that one with us when we, you know, work on the different plots. But for now, for now, we're, we might keep it here, or I'll take it with me as well. I don't know. Uh, tools. I will make a flimsy axe. You know, it's okay though if stuff breaks because... There- ah, oh gosh. I, I need to get one more stick. Because, um... There's like an achievement for it. Okay, uh, also, our money tree needs to be planted. I think this is a good spot. This should have enough room. So here we go. Also, we never checked our, our our attire piece. Open collar shirt. Oh, I like the picnic shirt better. I like the picnic shirt better. There are a couple of materials that I don't need in my pockets, but I'm like, I'm too lazy to like, you know, put them 
put them away now. Um, we can we can decorate a bit though. Amazing decorations. Maybe not around resident services because we will see that in the morning announcements. <laughs> Maybe not. Outdoor bench sounds great. Oh my god, awesome. It's gonna be so pretty. Uh, mic stand, incredible. Pointed to the tree so the tree can sing, I guess. Uh, and then there is some bells in my pockets. There are some bells. Um, plus, again, we can put down the, um, yeah, the, um, the bugs. The bugs, wasp can be placed here. Just some pocket cleaning, you know, saw stack. And then the new one that we got, the giant cicada. Plus, we will go and drop our fossil at our fossil dropping station. <laughs> That's not even as funny as I'm thinking it is right now. Okay, and with that, I do not have this one yet. The walking leaf. There we go. Uh, it seems to be taking it in stride. I see, I see. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Again, moving on from the puns. Let's chop some wood and see how far we're gonna get. That's probably... There's probably not gonna be much more happening in this episode. Um, because they do make you grind a bit for these first few plots, but that, you know, that's kind of nice. Because you, you have a little bit of stuff to do and to work on and um, they kind of teach you how to craft things and, you know, they kind of want you to gather materials and such. I think this is actually quite nice. Okay, we're just gonna chop them all and kind of put the, like, not collect the wood right now so that we know. Sorry, coach. So that we know which trees we have actually chopped um, and then just collect everything. And I, I don't I don't know how much of everything we need. Uh, we are gonna have to make a ladder, which I think should be one of the first things because then we can already go and collect the flowers, which I'm, oh. And here's the first axe. I had another one crafted. No, I didn't, because I didn't have enough sticks. Okay, never mind. Um, I do have my, my workbench with me, though. We need to get some more peaches, too. I think I sold everything uh, in the first the first time I collected them. And I know that we need like quite a few peaches for this stuff that we have to craft as well. Because there's like a, a few um, peach furniture pieces. So... Uh, I'm gonna, probably on the other side of the river, I think there were some more um, peach trees. For now, just the wood. And then, actually, how much of each do we need for this? <coughs> oh, four, which we've got. Okay, we should make a ladder then. We should make a ladder then. Had I seen that before, I'd have already done it. You know. Okay, ladder here we come. So we can now climb up to all the different tiers as well. Get even more wood, uh, get flowers, all that kind of stuff. Nice, okay. And then we're just gonna go until this one breaks, I think, and then see um, what we do next. Hitting the rocks is another thing I need to do. I was gonna go stretch. I was gonna do the morning stretches. Because I think those are fun. And I've actually, I've never achieved. So apparently if you've done them, oh my god, I think like 50 times, like five zero fifty 50 times, um, you get like reactions that pretty much of the stretches that you do while you do them, like though you can get those as like reactions, which I kind of want because I've never had them before. And I think they're, they're really cute. Um, but I've never actually gone and, and done it for 30, 50 times. Is it 30 or 50? Okay, here, is go, here goes our X. Okay, perfect. And I think with that, we're going to call this uh, an episode and I'll see you in the next one as we collect all this wood, craft some stuff, and grind a bit more so that we can get to the auto filling. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye.